possibly the best thing I've ever seen you do. Coming through smoke is good. Oh my god, that's hilarious. So now you run away to the box and unplug your keyboard. You don't give me enough credit. What's good, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. I thought this coaching session would be good for understanding how B-Site functions on this map on T and CT side, so I decided to put it on YouTube. If you want to become a student yourself, go ahead and check out the coaching link in my description. And with that all being said, enjoy the session. Dualies. <laughs> well, so I, I, I figured out what the problem was, and I can spam it a little bit better now. Okay. It's just me being too rough on my finger. And I bought a flash this time. Oh, were you like too tense? Is that I what you push, mean? I pushed too hard. Yeah, with my... Got with my you. Finger. Got you. That makes sense. We get double smoked here, which sucks. Oh, that flash. Bad no, idea. Yeah, I get it. It was just unfortunate timing, and I was just delayed too much in my head. You mean mm -hmm. because of the smoke or just a bad flash? Uh, bad flash in general. Oh, okay. So if anyone's over here and they're scaling to sight, they see it, they turn. Okay. If anyone's past it, then they're past it. They won't get blind. If anyone's looking at you donut, they don't get blind. Only thing it really blinds is like someone crossing here, but then they'll still see it come through smoke and turn. Okay. Is there a good flash to pop out of this situation? Yes. Uh, okay. Left, right click throw, pretty much just into the smoke, and it will pop like right at the steps here. Okay. Um, and that, like, this scenario is kind of fucked, so I'd probably save the yeah. flash for after the smoke, and then I would bounce the flash off this box so it pops here. Doesn't blind anyone, donut, blinds big box, default, you know, A main, this kind of stuff. Okay. People say it's spamming. So good, right? <laughs> You're back. <laughs> uh, I just yeeted it. It was. What yeah. Did I fucking do? Yeah. Oh, Sent my it. teammate said let's just push smoke, and I said okay, so I was going with him. Okay. Oh, this is a tough one. So. You're not. You're choosing not to get smoke here, right? Yeah, I was gonna go try and delay cheetah. So smoke is so smoke is definitely something you need to get. Over over Molly. Okay. Yeah. So as a cheetah player, it's like the main pieces of util you want are um, was it Molly smoke? Okay. Um, and if you don't have enough money to get Molly smoke, then you don't have enough money to get the rifle that you're getting. Okay. Like you, like so you, should I be you, getting an MP9 here? Or MP9 or Famas? Okay. Do you hate the Famas too? I'm not against it. I just generally think the MP9 is better. Fair enough. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The The way that I look at it is MP9 close range over here. It's not bad. It's still going to mm -hmm. be worse than an M4. And the way that I look at the FAMAS here is it's essentially an M4 because it's still dink body shot to get kill. Sure. So it's like it's okay. still better, but the MP9 isn't like bad. It's not like, um, you know, it's not like a terrible thing. But if you got MP9 full util here, you can do Molly, you can do Nade, you can come in. And then because the angles you're playing in Cheetah, do you need an M4? It's like good, but it, it doesn't, um, it's not worth missing out on smoke, basically. Fair enough, okay. So, why did you hold the flash there? My teammate was there, and I realized he's not seeing anything, so I didn't toss it. Got you. Were you going to right click it or, or left click? Jump right click. Jump right click? Fuck. If you were going to right click it, this is possibly the best thing I've ever seen you do. I thought it was a jump right click. So no. So if you if you just right click it and it pops like right here, okay. or uh, I mean, yeah, if I you thought... jump right click, they see it for too long and it pops like around this area. Okay, because I thought I tried it just a right click there before mm -hmm. and it didn't even go out, and I wasn't sure if I did the my, the lineup wrong. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's a jump right click. Yeah, probably probably just the lineup. Maybe you just have to go like a little bit further. The reason why this is so good is because this is you making a plan. If they pop B right now, they're full blind and we get kills. This is like this is like something I would see in a pro demo. I picked this. that up from YouTube, this this one, but I just haven't used it in a while and I forgot exactly what it was. Gotcha. But this um, is this is really was. good. Okay. This is really good that you're making this plan. This uh, I was about to yeet out and then I realized my teammates were nowhere near, so then I back up. Yeah. Even if you did want to yeet out, this flash probably isn't the best. Okay. So it's probably better to um, something I, something that you should definitely work on uh, by the time you get to our next review is left or right click flashes okay, or nades in general. The reason why is because this scenario, the perfect flash would be left right click flash and you want it to pop just around this corner so it pops here. Okay. The reason why this one is better than the one that goes high is because if there's anyone right here holding you from close, then they don't get blind. Okay. 
Um, maybe a little too passive. De definitely too passive, actually. So I'll explain why. So you want to get out because your teammates aren't close, right? I do you want, want to or I don't want teammate. to? You do want to, right? Because, you're, because your teammates aren't close. So you choose to back up instead of staying close. I didn't want to like. because my teammates weren't close. I realized that after I threw the flash, I'm like, oh, my teammates are nowhere near the site. I should not be pushing this. Yeah, so then you backed up, right? Yeah. So yes and no. Okay. That's like the correct way of thinking. I am, uh, my teammates are too far away. I shouldn't be here. But that doesn't mean you should back up because you're already committed. Because okay. yes, it's going to be better to get back with your teammates and be safe. Or it's going to be better to be with your teammates and be safe. But it's not necessarily better to get back to them. Because by getting back to them, you're running. And if there's anyone on this close wall, that's going to prompt them to peek you. Okay. Which is exactly what you don't want to happen. So it's probably better to stay here and just wait for your team. Okay. Because you're leaving a gap of like four-ish seconds where you have a very low percent chance fight and there's like a decent percent chance it happens because bomb was just planted versus you're just holding and it's like a 50 50. Okay. and then in the next four seconds then your teammate will be here and then you know it's better so this is also big information as well so you see that guy fighting from big box and you see the molly come from default there's only two players alive so it's default big box you said a good temple Going temple alone is kind of mad, but I don't blame you for it here because forcing it through CT smoke is also very mad. Here's where I go shots. Uh, nice try. Crouch peek that though. Okay. Definitely. You mean like swing crouch or crouch walk out? Uh, swing crouch. Because, uh, because they're shooting like this, you know that they're like in this area, mm -hmm. like against this wall. Usually, if you don't know where they are, you don't want to crouch peek because you could be like crouching too soon or too late. But because you have a good idea of where this player is, it's probably best to just crouch peek this because then it gives them like a level change. Okay. And it's harder to kill you. The sponsor for today's video is Skin Place. You have skins, right? Well, you can safely convert those skins into cash in just seconds on Skin Place. Just log into Steam, select the skins you want to sell, choose from their wide variety of payment methods like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Tether, and more. And once you put in your wallet address, that's it. It's super easy and only takes a single minute to completely set up your account. I traded three skins to Skin Place, and within just a couple seconds, I saw that money pop up in my crypto wallet. Use the link down below and get to selling. But don't forget to use code POLOCS for a 3% bonus on your first sale. Now let's get back to the video. Yeah, I don't have a super strong CT side this game. And I played a lot, uh, a lot of support on the side, which I think really helped out. But I don't know, actually. I feel like our teammates were getting on BT side for free i don't know i'm not sure mm -hmm. if they were winning duels or just getting on site but yeah we'll see molly's good Ooh, molly was bad actually yeah one of them i whiff i guess that's the one i'm still learning that one i just started doing it mm -hmm. this nade could be optimized okay. so when you come through you probably you pretty much just want to get this nade off as quickly as you can mm -hmm. Um, because it, let's say they were sprinting up, you pulled the nade out a little bit late and you naded, then they could be coming in when you know, you're know you pulling your gun out. And then also the, the nade that you're throwing, you bounce it off the wood. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be worse than bouncing it. I just bounce it underneath the B on this. Okay. So it hugs tighter to the angle and it pops more here. So it gets like the center of the ramp rather than just the right side. Okay. Oh, fuck. So you also just threw a smoke that the T's will throw. So if you had run through that and thrown the same lineup as the nade, then it would pop like down here. But because you, I think you're standing through it, it's going to give them like a way they can cross to mid. Yeah. Okay, so I want that to be deeper. Yeah. I okay. guess you don't actually, ee, this is actually kind of tough because you don't have mid info. So this might actually be okay. This might actually be okay. If you don't have mid info, then this is kind of fine. So it gives you a little pocket to like spam and goof off. Uh, if you do have mid control, you don't want to throw the smoke because then that means if your teammates are hold holding like a mid setup, then they can just walk through the smoke and kill them. Yeah. So if so you if have, I have mid, mid control, I want it deeper. Yep. Coming through smoke is good. My oh my god, that's hilarious. I, know. I wish that went out. <laughs> uh oh, so you had a really good spot that you gave up. So when you play against this wall, you see how the shadows go left. So when you play against this wall, you'll see their shadow before they peek you. So you can pre-fire. Okay. So by going over here, you kind of give them the advantage back. But this is a really good angle. This is an angle that like a lot of pro players play because a lot of people don't know about the shadow advantage and they'll just give a free kill. 
Like I'll show you when this guy runs that. up. I learned about that for you. Well, he angled out, but yeah, you should hug the wall so you don't do any shadow advantage, right? Only on ramp, style points. So I noticed they weren't really going pressuring Cheetah, so I started to focus my utility towards ramp. That's good. I mean, actually, is it? So did you call Cheetah at the beginning of the game? That I was going to play it? Yeah. Um, I think I did because I kind of just said I'm going to molly Cheetah or play. Yeah, I think I did. So if you do this, you don't want to become the B site player. You want to okay. be like, you want to become a like B site supporter kind of. So like if they're not pressuring Cheetah too much and you want fights, you're like flashing for him or doing okay. that kind of stuff. There's two reasons. If you spent every round in Cheetah and they kill you on ramp, then they know Cheetah player's dead. Um, I don't know if you'll face that yet, but uh, the second think, reason, this the second reason why is because um, obviously if you double up sight, then you give a gap in Cheetah and you have to be aware that like that gap cannot be open for too long. So you need to either go back into like jiggling pillar or push down ramp. In this scenario, you have three B, so this is fine. You playing double sight is fine. But in the event that you didn't have 3B, if, if this guy wasn't here, then you need to either push ramp or play like a passive kind of site setup. One guy pillar, uh, one guy, which would be you doing like this jiggle. And then when okay. you see someone, you like throw a molly or a smoke off this. Put my teammates there. Molly him off? No, no, no. If if your teammate wasn't here. If you're, okay. if you're oh. only 2B. Got it. Swing is good. That's unfortunate. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Mm. I forgot why I did that. Oh, I, I think I thought my um a guy was going down B main. Mm -hmm. So I tried flashing for him. I was going to save that for cave, but then I saw him eating down B main. So I'm like, maybe he needs this. <laughs> Got you. Hmm. So you should have a you should have an idea of like the kind of fight that you want here. You're either gonna get like a deep fight or a close fight. So when you go for this peak, do you know if you're just if they're deep, you're just gonna take one shot and duck away? Is that something you thought about beforehand or no? That or yeah. And if they weren't looking, maybe take another shot or two. Yeah. But yeah, I was playing off them being deep. So if you peak and your plan is to only get one shot off, like get that shot off and treat it like an op and like strafe out, like knife out, strafe out. Okay. Because right here you like take the peak and you kind of linger. Yeah, I now think you pull I expected your knife to see him deeper in rather than the doors. You see my swing. Yeah. You think I should have so, done like a double jiggle there, jiggle door, and then go deep? Uh, yeah, jiggle, yeah. jiggle. Um, the other thing also is when you get mollied here, just go back around and bait for this guy. Um, and the reason why is because if they're on B site and they're already mollying this off, one guy's planning. One guy's holding for his plant. And then there really should be another guy here. I don't know why there isn't. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but the, realistically, there should be three it's people. It's my here. Elo. <laughs> Fair. But realistically, there should be three people on site. Okay. So if you come out here and you bait for your teammate, maximum people you're fighting is two. This guy has decent potential at doubling. Okay. So I would just swing out and tell this guy to bait me and he swings out with me. Uh, nade a little higher, because that's going to go like right in front of the box. Ooh. You mean a perfect nade? Never mind, that is actually the perfect nade. <laughs> that is the perfect nade. But in general, I probably should nade higher. Where, do, where should I be aiming? So it's just, um, you want to try and get the nade to pop, like pretty much literally exactly where yours did, but you don't want it to bounce, because if it bounces, then it's, you know, too close to hitting the corner and just popping in front. So how I do it is I normally just shift walk throw at like this level of like the top corner. And I'll just be over here and I just like shift walk through and it will pop uh, usually like right here. Uh, lurk smoke for yourself is good. Kind of picked that up myself. Nice. Walking through the other side is also good. I would have given it a little, oh, the smoke faded. I was gonna say, so that, that play is also good. It's just unfortunate the smoke faded. Yeah, I thought he was, um... You could, or something. you could back up to long. I think once you once your teammate gets the kill in mid and you realize it's a 2v1, probably back up to long and play like okay. here. Just because it's safer. 
Honestly, I probably didn't even realize it was a fucking 2v1 in that situation. Otherwise, I would have. Is it another perfect nade? Ah, uh, that's where it, that's where I thought the other one was going. Another perfect flash. I did that for my teammates, I believe. So they could get out on site. Easier. Bad? Bad. Okay. You're letting them get out on site easier. You're also letting the T's out of A main. Okay. And w when they're like congested here. If you can get out here and throw smoke, because you don't have to peek A main to smoke A main. As long as you throw it into this corner, it'll bounce back and it'll pop right here and they'll have to swing through okay. smoke. Okay. Because now they have a... Oh my god, it crosses to big box too. Yeah, so uh, I'm assuming they win this round if they play it properly. They may. I forget. I think we only... Yeah. Okay, I thought I was being supportive. <laughs> I made up work. That's really funny. I thought I was helping. <laughs> That's actually, I'm not even kidding. That is a smoke that the T's will throw. When on like an A rush or something, they will throw a smoke that allows them to cross big box so they can get out here and take better fights. So your plan is if they smoke B, you're going to drop Lurk Smoke? Okay. Yeah. I can understand this. However, if you have this much of a heads up to get ready for the smoke, just get ready with a, with, with a ramp smoke. Because okay. this is like a very, um, even though you don't intend for it to be this way, I, can, I like uh, I can tell you don't intend for it to be this way. This is like a selfish smoke because it's just for you to make like a solo play. And if anything, it kind of fucks this guy because now this guy can scale up and doesn't have to worry about long peak. Okay. Because of it. Yeah, I see um, that now. I'm not trying to be selfish, but I see that now. Yeah. So it's just better to smoke ramp and then when ramp smoke pops, you play in front of their smoke. And then you'd kill them when they're running out of smoke instead of you having to like lurk around smoke. So maybe only throw that if we have what, like two CT or I'm by myself? Uh. Or what if one's K, you know what I mean? It's like, hmm. If you're like solo B site and you're playing long, they do a full B exec and uh, you need to hold the site to win the round, yes. Uh, but there's there's not a ton of scenarios even though it is a really good smoke there's not a ton of scenarios you need it because the scenarios you're going to be in when you need it do not require you to like multi-frag because because it's such a solo smoke if you're going to be throwing it it means you're probably going to be alone that's only really when it makes sense to throw it but if you're alone towards long then you're probably playing retake on B which means you don't want to fight and die mm -hmm. you know what I mean so it's like it's a very very situational smoke um, so it's going to be like if you're solo B on like an eco okay and the rest of your team is like stacked a or something like that because it is a really good smoke it's just it's just like the place you're throwing it from if you're playing b from there probably means you're solo or if you have a guy cave who's about to swing out pillar if you're playing long and you have a guy cave who's going to swing out pillar and you want to try and fight them while they're running up you can rip that smoke and swing through so it's going to be better to need like higher and more left um and the reason why is that it bounces further over here and hits them more because right now, I think this nade is going to pop, like, this area. So it still, like, gets box and everything. It's just if you aim more left, then it gets more box. Uh, ooh, okay, so this is good to note. When you're smoking ramp, um, really only try to smoke, like, center. Worst case scenario, smoke center of the ramp towards the top. If you smoke anywhere on the ramp, it needs to be center. And the reason why is because uh, this. Because you give, like, kind of a lurk on the right and a lurk on the left. Okay. It's just, like, a little bit too puffy. Smoke, or, or sorry, yeah, a little, a little deeper, a little more center. Um, flash is a really bad idea. So I forget why I chose to push this. Oh, you Did push it? Put, yeah, I might push it. Oh, that's crazy. I'm sad. It. Damn, you got put down. <laughs> yeah, pushing this is probably bad. Okay. Because also, I mean, uh, it's probably because your teammates had bombed down at mid. Actually, no, they just killed this guy stuff is still floating <laughs> um <laughs> yep there it goes um yeah i don't know i don't know why you push this unless you had info that they were like all towards mid or cat i think i knew there was at tops one there for some reason uh-huh the he, issue he with may this have used utility for me to to tip me off to know he's there i uh -huh. forget but regardless okay the reason why you um 
shouldn't push this because you remember how I said the scenario where you're long when you're solo B, you shouldn't be dying. You should probably just play and retake. Mm -hmm. Same thing goes here. Because let's say this teammate didn't get the kill in mid after you died. And let's say this mid guy with bomb instead was B. And let's say this A guy instead of being A was B because he could very easily just throw like the spawn smoke that he threw and then just rotate off. Mm -hmm. So let's say they were three bottom B, which is very possible. You run down, you die. Even though it's like 4v3, they have all of B site and like long as well. So even though you have 4v3, it's a pretty bad scenario. Mm -hmm. so, so I should be CT? You should be just living. Any anywhere where you are, you should just be playing to like live or multi-frag, one of the two. That's a good nade. Never mind. Do it. <laughs> Almost again. Landed, landed perfectly in the door. Uh, that's why I was saying, like, if you shift walk it, pops like right here instead of just going that little bit further. Okay. I hope you're communicating this entire time to your teammate that they can be a B. I was listening. I was trying to listen to see if I should be tossing this and kind of trying to get a peek. Did you um, tell your teammate they could be a ramp though? No, I don't. I don't remember. Okay, that's like one of the most important pieces of information as like the long player slash B player. Because very easily this guy could just die and he'll be like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> so, okay. and that's also one of the reasons why this smoke is kind of situational because it's probably better to just smoke off ramp and then you don't have to worry, you don't even have to worry about them being in sight. Is there a way, can you bounce it off? I've never done it before, but can you bounce it off a pillar to smoke it? Oh from yeah. From where I am, yeah? yeah? Is there a special lineup or is it kind of just freehand? Oh, you can just freehand. If you're playing like, in this first cubby, so we, we yeah. call this first and second. If you're playing in this first cubby, uh, you just bounce it off the left side of pillar. You want the main thing is you want to try to not hit the little grooves, the little mm -hmm. edges here, because it will just like bounce weird. So you want to hit like the face of it. Yeah, like, the like left side um, face of it. Yeah, if you like, if you like, run throw a smoke on like this brick or this brick. Okay. Um, then it will pop fine. Uh, or if you're back here, you can just run throw off the blue. Trap that guy. Nice. Uh, that's fine. I glanced at my mini map there. I was like expecting a guy to be there, and then I glanced at my mini map for info. And of course, right as I glance. Gotcha. Yikes. That's my life story as an IGL. <laughs> Except I'm not IGLing. <laughs> flash from mid. Flash from mid. Good. I think yep. The second one's right. Okay. So that's actually probably one of the first times I've seen someone throw the second one correctly in a demo review. I saw Austin CS do that. I just couldn't remember where it was, and I was hoping that was it. Yeah. Let's see, sprint to B. This is good. Oh. Flash, flash. Teammates are just farming at B. That's what I'm saying. We were getting B control, like, very easily. Mm -hmm. I whiff here. I should have. I don't know why I did a crouch slide. I should have just straight up strafed. Yeah. I have so, the best running accuracy weapon in the game, and I choose to, <laughs> I choose the crouch. I think that's just because I I'm, I do it so much with a rifle that it's almost muscle memory for me to do that. I think something also as well with these angles. Um, this is a good angle to jiggle, by the way, especially okay. if you're in this scenario when you have all of B. Because think of when someone peeks this angle, they're not looking at you; they're looking at cat. Mm -hmm. So I like to I like to actually just sit here and jiggle and play on here, and then every okay. now and then check donut. Um, okay. But you, you, it looked like you weren't really ready for the peak. I can't tell if you were getting ready to peak this angle or you just weren't ready for it. I just thought there might be a rotate there and I kind of let my guard down as I was swinging it. I'm like, eh, maybe there's not. And then right as I kind of start to think that is when I see a guy. Uh, ooh, actually, this is what the issue was. So you started to peak Donut before you recognized this guy was here. But the way you peaked Donut was bad. Something fell off about this to me. I think that's it. It's right oh, here. See, see how yeah. you're like kind of shift walking close. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure. But also, if bombs planted, I shouldn't even be peeking donut, right? I should be waiting I mean, for a rotate here. Yeah, I mean you can. That's why I was saying like the jiggle thing. It's like. Yeah. 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 Straight or on. okay. Something you could do as well. It's probably shit with a Mac 10. But if you had a rifle, I like to sit here, and I'll just okay. crouch and I'll hold a flank. Then I'll check donut walk out every now and then. I just check hold. Wait five seconds, check, hold. That usually that usually gets me a good amount of frags. I'll do that if I'm like solo lurking mid or I get out mid early and then my teammates could be. 
I just realized you did this on the other round too. Uh, what's the mistake here? Well, whenever you pause, it's utility. Yeah. <laughs> what did I? <laughs> so I we made a we've... mental note to fucking buy shit. What did I not buy? The smoke. We we talked about this actually on other demo reviews. Oh. Oh, helmet. Nope. Oh. Did I not buy a helmet? I don't think you did buy a helmet. But here, here's the thing though. One time. It might be a glitch, because one time I did have helmet armor. I couldn't purchase it, and it wasn't showing on my shit for some reason. Oh, you didn't buy... No, you didn't, because you spent 650 So you I didn't buy head armor. armor. So that wasn't actually it. That wasn't what I was talking about. So if you throw a spawn smoke or nade from... Or, like, flash or anything, from your buy zone, buy an extra nade. Wait, so if I throw this flash grenade, I can buy a grenade then? Yep. Oh. I didn't yeah. know that. And that's for that's for every map. If you smoke uh, red on Anubis from T spawn, if you smoke fast window on Mirage, oh, right there I could buy a grenade. Yep. After tossing those, okay. Yeah. I didn't if know you, that. If you throw uh, like a, a PC util from spawn, you essentially have five nades. Here I almost get caught off guard, and I, I remember the time. I'm like, Ooh, you yeah. can be up now, and I got it just in time. Yeah, I don't like the way you did it though. So you you. Uh, during the action of turning around, you peeked. So, like, by the time you peeked this guy, I think your crosser was like here. Okay. And then you and then you flip shifted. around that peak. So yeah, so flip around and then do this. Got it. I think I was more like I don't know if my back is exposed to this guy on ramp, so I just try to quickly do it as fast as I could. But I mm -hmm. see what you mean. So now you run away to the box and unplug your keyboard. <laughs> what? Um. So. There's certain scenarios where you could do nothing at all and it would be better than doing anything at all. This is one of those scenarios. Okay. Um, it's usually in post plant. Um, and the reason why is because, did you plant the bomb or was it your teammate? I can't remember. I probably think it's on, oh no, actually I don't know if I know it's there or not. Got you. If you know it's here and you go back over here, you win the round 100% of the time here. Okay. The only way you lose is if you peek. Or get a fucking clapping headshot. You don't give me enough credit. <laughs> it wasn't a headshot, though. It wasn't? It looked like No, it. he was 1 HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, the, the crosshair was not his time. It was good. It was good. Whatever it was, it was good. Boom. Peek like a fucking champ. Well, I, I think I knew we had him in a crossfire. That's why I, I think I peeked. Yeah, yeah. E even if you have him in a crossfire, though, there's still a chance. It's just, it's not worth. Okay. It's not worth. So it's like, uh, yes, this is a probably like ninety to ninety five percent chance you get this kill in the round, if you're doing a crossfire like that. But going box is one hundred. In the clutch, walking cave is good. Oh, did he see you? I don't think he saw. I think he preemptively mollied. Yeah, did. Okay, good. Oh, I get into a fucked up situation here. Not here after post plant. Molly is good. Hold the right. Yeah, I Ooh. saw he was in there. Yeah, so you're um, you should hold the right a little bit longer, definitely. Okay. Uh, because if this guy wanted to, because some some players will do this, they'll tick like a little bit in the molly and then peek late, because they know they're probably just gonna die anyway. See how the molly just popped, but you're already looking left. Mm -hmm. If he wanted to swing out right, you're not looking at him. Okay, fair enough. Nice. And I thought about doing a fake plant there, and I fucking should have. <laughs> I just didn't think they could get there that quick, or they wouldn't be there that quick. So the way you played this was bad. So I, I agree with the tap thing, 100%. Um, right here, once you guy, once you know this guy's behind default, mm -hmm. um, you need to commit to something, to yeah. a peak. Because if you spend your time doing like left, right, left, right, left, right, either he could just be hiding or he could be trying to do the same thing, timing each other. And if that, if either of those things happen, you 100% lose the round. So this yeah. is a like maybe go left and then commit right and hard clear him and then back up. And like you know play from here something like that yeah but by doing like the the left right left right it's like yeah yeah i think that just real that realization that i should have done that just came too fucking late because yeah. i didn't expect him to be there and like i don't, I don't think 
should have rotating that fast. Oh, he's here. I should have fucking tapped it. Everything in my gut said tap it. A uh, small thing here. Ooh, did you throw a spawn smoke or no? I you did. Small thing here. After you throw the small, is your plan to fight mid? Okay. Is your is your oh, plan to fight mid? So, no. Uh, the guy kept saying everybody go B. Uh huh. So I was just gonna molly box, mm -hmm. so nobody got jumped up on him B. Yeah. But for some reason, I think every time nobody fully went B. That's they nice. just weren't listening to his plan. So, so my, I think my plan was to just molly that off and, um, I don't know, rotate back with the team, I guess. So on an individual level, if you're if you're not trying to take this fight, mm -hmm. pull your knife out when you jump away. Because you jumped, you jumped late, so you jumped like right here, and you jumped with your AK out. Okay. So after you rip that molly, just knife out, get out. Okay. Um, and the reason why is because sometimes oppers will jump down and go for this peak. Mm -hmm. And if you do what you just did and they were doing this with an op, you die. So yeah, I think he kept saying rush B and then see they're, they're meandering and fucking spawn yeah. and getting the sight late. Nobody was listening to that plan. Mm -hmm. Good flash. Did we talk about that before? I don't think so. Because that was a left right click. Was it? Well, yep. I, I I know to do it in certain situations. I just okay. Because that is do it in the ones that you pointed out. That is a really good flash. I do that flash. Should have seen me do it before. And I, how I fucking learned to middle click it over like an idiot. Or what I did before like an idiot before I started middle clicking it over. I would just bounce it at the door, hoping it would pop out, but it never did, <laughs> and it would just dangle and, and flash myself. So yeah, the call there was 4B, and I was just trying to molly stairs so that we didn't get flanked. Mm -hmm. But then the guy kept staying with me. So this is really important. So you're peeking cat. Mm -hmm. Your crosser is ready for a cat peek. Everything is saying that everything you're doing is like I am ready for a cat peek. But you start shooting by the time you you take that long to start shooting. So okay. this is a pre-strafe. This is a this is a peek directly on this angle and check this because if this guy had a rifle this is you, you should be dead um so okay. i can, it's like a i think part of it might be a reaction thing maybe you were looking at minimap as you're coming in but it looked like you were super ready for this fight but then your movement didn't seem like you're ready for this fight even though your crosshair was there because you got the peak you got the, the exact peak you were looking at yeah you were like you were wanting you know what i mean I, I think it was like almost a double get to sight and see if there's anybody here because I figured I could at least cross box and then I could fuck with this guy or see what he does after. Um, okay. I don't, I don't know what 100% my thought process So is. you just... Yeah, okay. Okay, I can see that. Nice. Uh, so, yep. You too. Uh, you might have just given him a lurk smoke. Yeah. So it was either going to pop like here, like the one that you were throwing, or, or that. Uh-huh. So probably better, honestly, to not even throw a smoke here and just throw a flash over cave for your teammate. Okay. Nice. nice. Yeah, so this is a good example too. So flashing for mid. After you threw that insta smoke, you can buy another flash. And then rip two. Once you once you see that, you're ne you're like never gonna be able to unsee it whenever you're throwing like spawn base nades. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's awesome. All these good. Couple spams for good measure. With this self boost, I hit that about twenty five percent of the time. I need to just go into a practice server and do it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Where did I get killed from? From there. This guy. Is there a second? Yeah, I didn't even see him. Did you see yeah. him on my screen? It's because it's because you're closer to the angle. He's farther away. Oh man. Fair enough. I think I was only expecting the one guy reloading, and then I heard him re reloading, and I'm like, I'm gonna pre-fire this motherfucker as soon as I hear that reload, because I'm gonna expect a, a re-peak. Yeah. And then before I could even pre-fire, this guy just mows me down. So I think it's probably better to just tuck. Yeah. Um, and the reason why is because if you hold an angle like this, you actually see their shadow against okay. the wall, uh, because this light, you'll see their shadow as they're coming out, and then you just know they're coming out and you can pre-fire. Smoke is okay. Uh, this is important to think about. 
So where'd your teammate get the kill? Donut, yeah? Mm -hmm. And the house smoke is fucked up. So if the if there's a second guy mid and he's not he's, he's not abusing you guys for missing the smoke, either he's not here or he's cubby. If he was red, he would be here. He would be abusing the smoke because it's so bad. So this looks like if there is anyone mid, high likelihood cubby. Cubby is probably more common than anything else. No. Oh my god, if you get this kill, this is insane. Ooh. I mean, fair play. That was good. The way you came out of the smoke was a little goofy. Because you were looking at the sky, but this was good. You mean this was actually good. There? <laughs> <laughs> I I think I'm just... My coming out of smoke game just needs a lot of work. I don't think I want to be there. Trying to kill Zeus. <laughs> Yep, so again, again with the, the, I know you didn't know it was a thing, mm -hmm. um, but this is what, so there's there's people that I've coached for a while that um, I say that and they still forget, and whenever that happens, so now moving forward in the next interviews, if I don't see that, if I see you throw a spawn smoke, you don't get an extra nade, I say, uh, now we're going to look at the scenarios where you could use the nade. I bet you'll love it too, wouldn't you? <laughs> I forgot exactly where that lineup is. Uh, I, I think it? you, I think so. Is it the bottom of the B? Uh, no. Like it's uh, a... it's this well, circle. Okay. Oh, that just dimple. look at that dent? Yeah, that dent. Center okay, of that so dent. Just... Okay. Because I learned, I thought it was someone who like, lined up the bottom of the B. I shot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, GG. Okay. So biggest things for, for Ancient would definitely be, um, on CT side at least, would be like just the general like playing Cave, playing Cheetah, um, playing B site stuff. So like kind of stray away from using that smoke, yeah. that Lurk smoke. Okay. Again, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just um, I'd rather smoke ramp and deny their B hit than drop a smoke and have to play around their B hit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as the your util was pretty much fine. I mean, you missed the you missed the ramp nade twice, but that's like an easy fix. That's not like uh, anything too big. Um, They're utilizing those middle click flashes. Yeah. Um, when you went A, that one round when you were close spawn, but like you, because that's going to happen on other maps as well. When you were like close spawn, but your teammate wasn't close, so you decided to back up. That's like, um, that's like on Mirage. Let's say I'm like a CT retaking A. Um, I have a B guy who's jump spotting van rotating to market. Uh, my A player and my con player are dead. I'm the window player and I'm rotating CT. And I'm hugging the left wall and I get close to spawn, but my mark but the guy who's supposed to be rotating the market is like four seconds behind. Is it worth walking back into like that CT cubby or staying close? Probably staying close, right? Because yeah. then if you're walking back, you're in the open. That's a, actually a really good scenario because that should save you in like a lot of scenarios because that like like you should have got abused. If that guy was playing default, he should be peeking you 100% because he should be looking for 1v1s. Uh, some other like some like map specific stuff T side that if you're throwing a spawn nade by another one same thing goes for CT side as well in like pro CS they'll smoke bottom mid uh, from spawn on CT side like pretty much every single round and always buy an extra flash because if they didn't especially on CT side it's important you don't again. have a default from the, beginning. the the CTs uh, in pro CS will smoke bottom mid from CT spawn yeah you mean the elbow elbow yeah yeah okay and as they're coming out of spawn they'll buy another flash because that's, especially, on, it, it's super, that, um, super important. Okay. That smoke is so annoying to deal with. I tried to learn them, and I'm like, I'm just staring at a fucking wall. I can't see where to put yep. my cross here. I need to... Yeah, I think I know I think I know three of the lineups. I don't know all five. I don't even know the two it ones. It sucks, because I get in all these fucking games, and I feel like I don't know all the utility, but I feel like I know a little decent amount. And I feel like nobody's fucking... The only smoke I ever see anybody throw is a window smoke. And that's if it lands. <laughs> uh, on Mirage, so like I feel yeah. like I feel like I'm destined to have to play support when I'm solo queuing, mm -hmm. when I want to be the one getting flashed out mid and getting yeah. the fucking pick. Yeah, if you're Here playing I, in a, yeah. if you're playing in an Elo where like people don't know as much like util, at least like the the default util as you do, then yeah, you kind of become a support and it kind of sucks, but and it's I, what gets you I, wins. And then I just have people just running in through smokes on like Anubis and B. They're just like, okay, he's going in. Am I supposed to stand back or am I supposed to go in with them? And I'm like, I'm like, I guess he's rushing. I need to 
back him up, but really I should just let him run in and die like an idiot and then maybe play around that. Yesterday I tried playing Face It and uh, two of my players were switching off being AFK on my team. Yeah, that's and I'm like, I, I just can't fucking... I just need to find like two or three friends that yeah. <laughs> can at least get yep. me through some games. The goal by the end of our sessions is to get you... What? Where are you right now on Face It, level three? or it's Down ranked to two! Because I, I tried to play a couple of matches last night. It was just fucking it's, stupid. The goal is to get you to four well, by, the, by been, the end of the session. I've been up to six. Yeah, if you can get a stack, the goal, the goal at least short term, should be to like get you to four. Mm -hmm. um, because once once you're at four, it's like, you know, especially coming from two, it's like you've already grinded through two levels. You've already played enough like games where like you've dealt with fucking, you tell you've dealt with terrible humans. I don't I don't know. There's I don't think there's a way around it. I don't think I can uh, solve no, there isn't. my way out. I had to I had to grind through it too. Everyone did. It's it sucks, but like it's what it's what you got to do. But yeah, uh, did you did you have any questions? I don't think so. And and if you have any, feel free to message me on Discord and I'll also upload the VOD. Sounds good, man. All right, I'll see you. I'll see you.